Hey guys, Dude's Truth here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. And today, we're taking a look at the best attribute for festival decks that you can play in the new event. So, before we start, let's take a look at the new event. So, the new attribute for event requires you to play decks that use Earth, War, Fire, or Wind attributes. So, um, only those four attributes, Light, Dark, decks are out of the equation and that's actually really cool and that's really interesting as well so let's go i have four decks here that uh not really correspond to um uh, major attributes so i'm gonna pick um mostly single attribute decks some of them have earth wind and water but let's go with first with umi so this is listed on my budget decks video so this is pretty close to that budget deck build so umi is a water control deck that uses ocean dragger dragon lord karyushin to control the field and prevent players from controlling uh, more than one non-water monster so if you're playing a water deck um umi is easy to play around but if you're not playing a water deck you're playing oh an earth wind or fire deck you're gonna you're gonna be, have a hard time so umi relies on ocean dragon or karyushin as i said and the deck list here is pretty simple three maxi just for the hand trap and you know because a lot of the attribute four decks um need a lot of special summoning except for umi which is pretty cool warrior of atlantis to just search your legendary ocean doom kraken as an extender and uh disruption electric jellyfish to um get an umi card and also for a negate which is really cool dragon lord karyushin your boss monster your floodgate uh general raiho is pretty good because um they force your opponent to um to discard one card uh, or else they negate that effect mega fortress will for uh just uh finishing the game big body uh big beater situation uh, Gamma Seal, just to remove boss monsters that are hard to remove or untargetable. Any towers monster, Gamma Seal is really good against that. Next up, Harpy's Feather Duster, just in case you run into back row, which is okay. Foolish Burial Goods, your main target here is Ice Barrier. Pot of Extravagance, just to draw two. The extra deck doesn't really matter for um, Umi. I just put Marines as Links here because they're... Uh, I have all of them. You can put anything in the extra deck here. Same for Pro Plot of Prosperity. So you can just uh, search your deck out. Fish Sonar, just to uh, just your generic uh, water monster searcher for the deck. Legendary Ocean, this is your Umi card. Sea Stealth 2 is uh, one of your protection back row. Really powerful. Sea Stealth Attack um, allows you to... Uh, to protect your back row from destruction. Evenly matched just to break big boards, which is really cool. And Ice Barrier for um for another water monster search, which is really cool. So you can use uh Bush Burial Goods and Ice Barrier to search out your deck, which is really cool. Umi is really good if you're in for a budget deck that doesn't need too many URs. You can remove Maxi here and just re focus on getting Karyushin and fortress will and you're pretty much good to go okay next up we have virtual world so virtual world is a fun synchro heavy deck that is actually really more powerful outside of the event but since we're talking about the attribute for event uh we're gonna play our play the deck and build the extra deck around that attribute for limitation so virtual world is a synchro combo deck that relies on three six and level nine monsters to create um rank six level nine level six monsters on the extra deck and it's really cool there's a lot of extenders lots of disruption chuche is really good shenshen's a walking floodgate so that's really powerful so let's go with the deck uh hand traps just maxi ash blossom infirm generic ones um two nyan nyan this is your extender when it gets sent to the graveyard 
And when you special summon the level 3, you can special summon this from Graveyard as a tuner. Always really handy. Lulu is your main starter monster. It can foolish a card and then allows you to add the card from deck to hand. Gigi is your basic um level 3 extender. Can all at the end phase can you can recover one of the virtual world monsters in graveyard, add it back to your hand for follow-up next turn. Lao Lao is your level 6 tuner, allows you to revive a level 3 or another virtual world monster from graveyard. So it's really cool. Lily is a double foolish, so you can send um, two virtual world card types to the graveyard, which is really cool. Next is Harpy's Feather Duster for back row removal. Pot of Desires, uh, I only run two here. So just a really powerful draw two. Kowloon allows you to activate any virtual world gate directly from deck. Qinglong is better sent to the graveyard to search out a monster. Italy because you can special summon Yan Yan and Lulu with no issue in this deck. So next we have uh called by and cross out just to kill hand traps. And then uh Chuche for the card pop and recover banish monsters and Swan Wu isn't used on the field, you rather have this on the graveyard for the free monster reborn. For the extra deck level six, we have um, we have Stardust Charge Warrior draw one, Coral Dragon also draws one if you get if it gets sent to graveyard, Juju for removal, Cult Castle for revival for our level nine synchro, Vermilion Dragon Mech for another form of removal in destruction, Crocodile Dragon is for a draw one. Shen Shen is your floodgate, and you can recover this by banishing two other monsters from your graveyard with different original types and attributes from each other. Really powerful boss monster. Levier, the Sea Dragon rank 3, allows you to retrieve your special summon a banished, mon banished level 4 lower monster. You can bring back any of the level 3s that you might have banished. Grand Pulse, level 3 uh, back row removal. Jaja is a protection for your virtual world monsters. Gauntlet Launcher levels rank 6 destruction, so that's really cool. Virtual World Phoenix Fan Fan is a uh, level 6, another form of removal by banishing. Dragon Dark Perrin is uh, is a good uh, revival tool, kind of like Clavier. Phantom Fortress Enter Blatnir is, uh, is a funny card here just to banish one card from, uh, different from any location uh, on your opponent's side. And Hyper Hyperiton, just in case you want another rank nine, it's a it's pretty much a negate monster negate spell trap negate depending on what materials it has on its uh, attached to it. So virtual world is really good if you want that. Next up we have Marinces. Marinces got hit a bit in the event, so Blue Tang is a bit to one their best starter in the deck. However, this deck has a lot of pretty good one-card starters, and you can pretty much extend the game with it and do some damage with it. So, let's start off. Hand Traps again. Maxi, Ash, and Imperm. Generic. Called by Crossout for the trap uh, Hand Trap um, Disruption. So, let's go with the Marinces card. So, Mandarin. Two Mandarin, just another extender, because uh, if you have two or more Marinces monsters, you can just summon this on a Link arrow it points to. So, that's cool. Seahorse, second best starter here, so um, Seahorse can be one card combo pretty much. Blue Tang is your true one card combo, and since it's limited to one, you really have to um, utilize your other Marinces links. But Blue Tang is really powerful, can also do the excavation effect, which is which allows you to just add more cards to your hand, add more Marinces cards to your hand, that's really cool. Pascalus allows you to special summon one Marinces monster to your hand defense position, so you can go into uh, League 2 plays or have an ex extra body for free. Spring Girl is a special summon uh, when you banish another Marinces monster from your graveyard. Really cool. Abyss Shark is another great extender. Discard uh, a water monster and special summon this, and you can go into Xyz or Link plays. Crystal Shark allows you to um, to special summon this card by uh, targeting one water monster on the field. So another great extender if you need one. 
Sleepy Maiden is another extender slash protection for some of your Marines' cards. We have three set next up for the generic searchers. Three Cyanet Mining, just to search any of the Marines' since they're all cybers. Marines' Dive allows you to special summon from deck or do a monster reborn. Marines' Battle Ocean is the heart and soul of the deck, allows you to equip uh, Marines' link monsters to your main link monsters and gives them protection. Also, this field spell also gives protection. And we have Marines' Wave, uh, another hand trap for the archetype, which is pretty cool. And we have Forbidden Droplet, just to negate opponent's uh, opponent plays, and you can send your Marines' equip monsters. So that's really cool. So for the extra deck, Abyss Dweller, just to kill graveyard effects. Stealth Kraken for the card pop and burn. And if Stealth Kraken gets pop, you have Kraken spawn. Next we have Marines' Blue Slug. Your main link starter. Sea Angel for your Spell Searcher. Coral Anemone for your Extender. Crystal Heart allows you to create a pretty much un untargetable, uh, indestructible Towers monster. If, if used as a link material. And then Splash Mage for a revive. Marines' Marble Rock can allow you to retrieve Marines' cards to their graveyard. Allow you to extend or recover next turn. Pro Triangle allows you to search Marines' Wave. Bubble Reef is a beat stick that allows you to draw one, kind of like a water version of Heat Soul. And of course, Aqua Argonaut, Spell Trap Negate on your opponent's turn, and another big beater, and you can bounce cards uh, back to the hand for your opponent. That's so, Marines' is a really great deck, even though Blue Tang is limited, you, this is still very much playable and really, really powerful. Last but not the least, we have Salamangrate, and I can tell you, this deck is pretty much full power, save for not having access code here. But everything else, it's pretty fine. It's pretty powerful, and um, Salamangrate is just a really powerful link base deck that, that gives you space for enough hand traps, disruption, and has enough consistency to go into double-digit turn grind games, and can recover really well and has access to cards like Salaman Great Roar and Omni Negate and Salaman Great Rage, a really powerful destruction trap. So let's go. So Ash Max Imperm, Standard, Cross Out, and Call By. Let's just get out of the way. Harpies for the back removal. And then we go to the Cybers. Flame Buffer Go is really powerful. Just uh, discard one and draw two. So you can use this as your main link one, just in case you need one. Salaman Great Foxy, extend another way to uh, extend and uh, just uh, search your deck. So it has a uh, excavate three, add one. Salaman Great Gazelle, now this is free. So this is like your heart, the heart and soul of your combo. A free special summon to from hand. Spinny allows you to special summon this card from deck, gives an attack boost, really powerful. Jack, Jaguar, and. Um, and Falco just allow you to just uh, more extension and recovery, so more uh, more bodies. Parallel Seed, another um, extender. You can special summon two of these on field and just uh, get a rank four or more link place on the on deck. Signet Mining, your generic Cyber Searcher. All of the main monsters here are Cyber, so you're bound to use this so so often. Salamangrate Sanctuary, your main field spell, gives you protection, allows you to link one Sunlight Wolf onto themselves. Really cool. Salamangrate Circle, and adds one Salamangrate monster deck to your hand, so really powerful. And then, once again, Rage, just uh, destruct, target destruction, and Salamangrate Roar for Omni Negate. And then we go to the extra deck. Salamangrate Mirage Stalio is a free special summon from deck by detaching one material. Baguska just to just in case you can't go into your main Salamangrate place, just set this on defense and stun your opponent for a turn. Salamangrate Bailings allows you to search the sanctuary and allow you to extend even further. This is your main starter. Almirage, another a backup option here. Not really as important as Bailings, but just in case you need another link one to go into. Next up, update jammer. This can this can still be useful to go into uh to allow you to double attack with transcode talker or heat soul. Sunlight Wolf allows you to recover um Salamangrate spell and trap cards. 
from graveyard back to hand. And other and add another fire monster from graveyard to hand. So it's it's a really great recovery tool and extender. Splash Mage allows you to go into link trees like uh Transco Talker, which allows you to revive another Cyber's monster for extension. Heat Leo allows you to shuffle one spell trap to deck. It also has uh <clears throat> an attack boost effect, which is really handy in certain situations. And then we have Heat Soul which draws a card every turn by paying 1,000 life points and has an attack boost for each monster it points to, so that's really powerful. If you're looking for an attribute for a deck that can play pure, I guess Salamangu is really, really you know, in ways, great because it just has uh, all the extensions, and except for access code, this, card, this deck is pretty full power. And then I guess that's it for the attribute for best decks list and i hope you like this video if you have other deck suggestions please leave them in the comments if you like this video you can share and subscribe and like the video itself and um follow for more Yu-Gi-Oh master duel content um thank you so much for watching and once again this is the best attribute for decks for the attribute for event and thank you for once again just watching and i'll see you in the next video so bye guys